Welcome back to another My Hero Academia reaction with episode 13 from season 7. It's been like, what, another week after they keep taking breaks because of the Olympics? And uh, now we're going to be getting Deku versus Shigaraki because he, my boy is pulled up and he's ready to throw hands. So, with that, let's jump into the reaction part of this video. But don't forget to stick around to the end where we review breakdown the episode as well. Okay, we're going to pick up with the first again. And this is going to be the same thing you talked about before. Well, that's not good. All for one's increasing. Oh, that's because of his, uh, him using Ares Rewind. I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh! Hey, okay. We got Star and Stripes' men coming to help Deku and get him to Shigaraki. Yo, this is what teamwork is here, right here. Yeah, I know why. Because they're going to be fighting for Star and Stripe. They lost her, and now... Yeah, there we go, because our little sis bet everything. So this is exactly what the power of a hero does for you. They motivate everyone around them, they continue to fight, and they help everyone who's in need. Great moments. And the music just adds to it, too. <laughs> Bro, they're just launching Deku. It's just the ultimate launch as he flies forward. I love that panel. It just looks so nice. Yeah, Shigaraki. He has grown more of his quirks as he's ready to beat the crap out of you. Midori is here. Oh, shit. He sees Bakugo. Oh, no. Oh, this is the moment I've been waiting for. It's the rage, the depression, all of it together. God, just seeing everyone on the ground hurt. And this where Deku finally snaps. Ho ho, Deku's just unleashing the quirks. There we go, we got the, we got the blue eyes. Oh shit. I've got the monstrosity of Deku unleashing his quirks. Oh, simple and predictable. Dude, bit your attack last time, and I'm just gonna say that right now. Wait, did this bastard just say I'll destroy his spine with a counter? Oh, lovely. We got Lamillion gonna be trying to get him to snap back out of it. So he's just trying to get him out of it. Oh, shit. No, I want to see Rageful Deku, though. Even though he needs to sing calmly, I still want to see it. Okay to get mad, but control it carefully. Ah, controlling your heart. We got the, all the different words of wisdom as you realize that you need to think calm and fight. You just have to use that rage to your advantage. And not let it control you. There we go, Deku. Snap out of it. Now use that rage. I want to see his eyes go blue again. That was dope. Oh, I was right. There we go. Yeah, sweet. Now he's going to be using him. Oh. Yo, that's a dope ass shot right there. I think I might have just found my thumbnail. That was dope. That looked awesome. Having all the vestiges behind Deku with his eyes glowing and everything else. Is he though? Into one being. The all for one and Shigaraki mold. I know what he's thinking. He wants to save the villain, save the small child that's traumatized within. Look, the traumatized child is still trying to reach out. He's still in there. 
Even though he's been twisted and molded into this monster. So there's still a chance. As he looks at the fingers and sees the fact that his family are his fingers on his giant hand. Okay, here we go! Coffin in the sky is gonna get thrown right. <laughs> Look, Hatsume just nicely calm flying. <laughs> Yo, oh shit, he's using Blackwood and Fujin together? <laughs> Damn, okay! Yo, it's gonna be Molt using the quirks in a like combo move now? Okay, I'm hype. Let's go. Oh, if you don't defeat him in five minutes, the world will lose. Oh, shit. Yo, seconds trans. Oh, yo, bro has the teleporting move? Second gear. Uh, someone called Luffy right now. Deku's using his move. Yo, what? What is Second's quirk? Transmission? Buddy is shifting into gears. Oh, it changes the ability of his speed? Oh. At 120% of 100? Shit! Yeah, this is dope. Yo, Deku, fuck the shit out of him. Knock him into the ground. God damn. I, okay, you know, I was expecting this to be hype, but not that hype. Okay. Okashi. Now we're just gonna be... He hit him so hard, he's going into a freaking flashback. No, it only changes the speed of what you touch? Oh, interesting. So he has the power to make things move faster. So, hey, Deku's using it on himself, which means he moves faster. Right? Why can I see people? Oh, shit, you can see the vestiges as they watch over Deku. Quirk gear shift. Ah, okay, so it's the reason is because it's become stronger like all the other ones. Okay, cool. Makes sense. So it's not just a projectile speeder up there anymore. <laughs> Work our objects cell by cell. Okay. Change the way the world works. Oh shit! Okay, well, I gotta do a quick double double look back at that. Ah, I see the pure power is stored in one for all, and can, when the two combine, it even changes the world works. I see. So that's why it looked like he could teleport. Yo, this is the quirk singularity. Boom! Right. Twin poop tuple tuple. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. You know when this song comes on, everything's about to get hype. Huh? Oh, oh, he lowered the gear. <laughs> oh, using all the quirks to give himself the upper edge. This is sick. Actually, seeing Deku be able to use all the freaking quirks is awesome. Using Danger Sense, Smoke Screen, using now the Gear Shift, using Black Whip and Float. Boom. And then he's also going to build up his kinetic energy to launch forward. <laughs> You're the one who will complete one for all. Okay. Okay, let's see. I 
I feel like there's so many thumbnail worthy moments in this episode. Like, goddamn. Breaking through all those arms and just bashing into Shigaraki. Let's go. Ha. So just beating the crap out of him has started to break that union. Sweet. Deku wants to save the kid within Shigaraki, the true hero. Yeah, you haven't been able to do that because we've been uh, erasing your cork this entire time. Uh, excuse me, what the fuck is going on? Something bad's gonna happen. I don't know. Oh, what do we have? We still have a chance of winning. What are you doing over there, Spinner? Oh, the episode's over. Okay. God damn, that was freaking hype. I bet you any money we don't pick up with Deku next episode and we go to the Spinner fight or we go back to Dobby because it like it just feels like a place they're gonna leave it out where it looks like something's gonna burst out of freaking Shigaraki's body. Damn. Okay, that was that was a hype episode. We have stuff to talk about. So. Let me know if you like this reaction, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, helps out the channel a lot, and you can stay up to date with all my anime reactions and breakdowns. So with that, let's jump into the review breakdown part of this video. So that was one epic episode, hype as shit, as we go in and Deku arrives with that full-on save the day mentality. I love the fact that Stri Star and Stripes' men were the ones helping Deku launch his ass all the way to the coffin in the sky as he came in to smash and bash Shigaraki upside the head. Like, that was a badass moment. It's cool to see how he got there so quickly. You know, honestly, I just thought he flew over there, so it's cool to see that little extra added to it that we have these people who were supposed to leave Japan stay because Star and Strike put everything she had embedded on the heroes of Japan. So it's kind of like showing that, you know, again, heroes motivate other people by doing these heroic deeds. And I really liked seeing that. And it was great to see Deku almost lose control because that's what I was hoping for. See him go through mo a monstrous form as he's unleashing smoke, black whip, and everything else because he's losing his mind after seeing Bakugo on the ground dying and then seeing everyone else around him injured. So it's cool to see him almost lose control again. But then having Lamellian snap him out of it, reminding him that he can't lose his control and that heroes, you know, sometimes you just have to talk in order to be heroic. You know, showing, saying those things to make people stay in the moment, remember who they are, and also Deck remember that he has to use rage as a tool and not something that can control him. He has to take control that the rage can help fuel his attacks. He still has to think calm. He still has to think collectively. He can't lose his control or his attacks become predictable. So I do love how they set that up. Really awesome. And then just to see Deku use all the quirks in unison using Black Whip and Fajin. Like that was an awesome moment seeing him use those two quirks in unison and then see him use the second user's quirk, which is gear shift. Like I would've been waiting so long to find out what it was because he did say that if Deku used it, he could get hurt. So I do like how that kind of set everything up. That gear shift literally shifts the gear and Deku's able to use move faster, slow himself down, speed himself up and just do all these really cool things where it looks like he teleported for a second, but he's just moving so quickly that he's able to move to these spots, increasing the quirks while always using fudge and black whip and everything else to make his attacks even stronger as he fights. Like that was awesome. And I do like how one for all upgraded gear shift from something that just shot small projectiles to being able to do stuff cell by cell, making it super freaking OP. And I love by the end of the episode that we see that Deku is learning that young Tomura is still in there. He still has a chance to save him. That all for one and Shigaraki have not molded fully yet. And that by beating the crap out of him has disrupted and shaken that merge. So I do really like how they're setting all this up. 
It's having these really cool moments with Deku being a hero, having that fantastic music being in there, and just setting up how freaking awesome this arc's going to be, but also how devastating it's probably going to be with so many different big villains going against the heroes. Like, who's going to get hurt? Who's going to die? And just setting up a lot of stakes that are there. But this episode was fantastic. I was not expecting to watch Deku and Shigaraki go to this extent in one episode. I fully expected them to be like, set up that attack go to a different episode, start seeing what's happening over there, then come back to this one later. So I'm really glad we got this after waiting a week for it to come back. Worth the wait. Such a good episode and such a good fight just to see Deku. My favorite part about the fight was just Deku using all the quirks and uh, in unison. So yeah, great episode. Let me know what you thought about it. Is there anything, any big moments you want to talk about from this episode specifically? And thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next week when we watch another episode of My Hero Academia.